Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I'm here with Dell taking a look at a couple of concepts that are being unveiled at the Consumer Electronics Show 2020, including a dual screen computer called the uh, Duet, and a single screen foldable computer called the Ori, short for origami. Uh, these are not devices that are scheduled to come to market, but they're showing what Dell is sort of thinking of, looking at in terms of possibilities, and uh, maybe what could come out in the next year or two, depending on sort of where the market is going. Uh, right now, there is not an operating system that is specifically optimized for this, but we know Microsoft is working on Windows 10X, which is designed for these sorts of devices. Uh, we don't necessarily know what that's all going to look like until later this year when uh, the Surface Neo comes out. But Dell's Duet already has some software optimizations to show what to stock Windows 10 looks like with a dual screen device. So what we're looking at here is a demonstration of uh, how you can sort of do two screens. You can have, um, you know, researching, looking at presentations, doing travel research on one, using one note to write on the other side. Uh, but then you could also span a single application across both screens. So there's uh, different ways that you can do that. You can just sort of use a gesture to tap and it shows up on both screens. Um, you can switch it over into something closer to a laptop mode. And if you wanted to, you could also bring out a keyboard. Uh, this is again a concept, a demo. Uh, screen rotation isn't perfect, but it gives you an idea of what to expect. Uh, so you can actually take out the keyboard and then just sort of pop it on the bottom and it should sync up and allow you to type. That keyboard, if you uh, if you weren't paying attention, was actually just magnetically attached to the back, so you can keep it around with you whether or not you're using it, and then you can bring it out and use it with a physical QWERTY keyboard, not a touchscreen keyboard like we saw in sort of past iterations, like the Toshiba libretto uh, a number of years ago, had uh, had you rely specifically and only on the touchscreen keyboard, which wasn't necessarily ideal, or uh, Lenovo has their, um, their line of sort of dual screen devices. This is more of, of a real notebook that can be a dual screen tablet or a notebook style device that can be used in a variety of different iterations. So what we're seeing now is a demo where, for instance, you could have Skype come up on the top screen, you can use the bottom screen for uh, you know, other applications. So again, you can take notes while you're in the middle of a Skype call. You could use a pen to jot down your notes and um, use it in this sort of orientation. So you could lie it flat like a laptop, you could open it up, or you could, I guess if you wanted to, stand it up with back-to-back -back screens so two people can watch a video or play games or it sort of opens up the possibility for new use cases that you wouldn't necessarily have seen on other types of devices. So that's a look at the Duet. Again, um, this is a concept device. So we're not talking processor pricing, release date, or anything along those lines, so much as just sort of the different uh, use cases. Uh, could you show me a couple of the gestures that you were showing? Um, just sort of, you can use a gesture to swipe things from one screen to the other. Um, so can Windows 10 allows you to sort of span your desktop across multiple displays, but it's not necessarily the most intuitive thing to do if you wanted to do things like use a single application on two screens. So you can just use multiple fingers to swipe up or swipe down or span. Cool. So that's, uh, that's Duet. Let's take a quick look over here at Ori, which again now is this single screen device that's more like a, a tablet that you can fold up and use in different ways. So you can use it as as two different workspaces, but it is a single screen, so you don't get that line down the middle if you wanted to, uh, say, watch a movie in full screen or use Microsoft Paint for you know multi-touch uh, you know content creation. Um, or, uh, you know, again, so we've got here the ability to run multiple applications. It is a full-fledged Windows computer, but it's really designed more for using it like a tablet or like a book, where you can sort of hold it in one hand and look at, you know, different content across two different pages. So it supports, um, you know, all of the things that we looked at on the Duet, but it's really optimized for sort of handheld use. So it doesn't support a physical QWERTY keyboard, but if you really wanted to, you could use it either with a pen or with a, a touchscreen keyboard. You could just jot a couple of quick notes. It's not optimized necessarily for uh, typing, but it is something you could use for typing because, again, Windows is a multi-mode operating system these days where you can use it for touch or for uh, keyboard and pen type input. So that's a quick look at Duet. Again, this is a concept. We're not looking at you know an actual product that's set to ship, but uh, it is a technology that is currently available with a plastic OLED display. Um, we're looking at it right now bent, but if you sort of bring it up and sort of flatten it out, you'll see that the, uh, the seam it becomes much, much less visible, uh, almost disappears uh, if you're just using it for watching videos or something like that. And, um, you know, it's a glossy screen, and uh, as I was noticing, it's the sort of thing where if you were using it in front of a bright light, you'd sort of see some reflection that might be annoying. That's about the level of annoyance that I think you might expect from the seam down the middle. Under certain lighting conditions, it might become apparent. Under other lighting conditions, you don't really notice it at all. And um, 
you know, you can uh, just sort of close it up, carry it around like a book, and it becomes a much more portable device. So that's the Ori and Duet, two new concepts that Dell is showing off at the Consumer Electronics Show. Uh, could see these or devices based on these sort of ideas come to market in the future, but right now they're just concepts. This is Brad Linder with Little Feuding.